The new year is usually a moment of celebration and restitution, but in Japan, 2024 started on a terrifying note as a very powerful earthquake just struck central Japan's western coastline, triggering tsunami alerts. And the country is presently in chaos, as there are reports that at least nine aftershocks have struck the region, including one with a magnitude of 6.2. Join us as we uncover what just happened in Japan that shocked everybody. The 7.6 magnitude earthquake. The quake, which is estimated to have been magnitude 7.6, struck the Noto Peninsula in Ishikawa Prefecture on the main central island of Honshu at about 4.10 p.m. local time. It knocked out power to tens of thousands of homes and disrupted flights and rail services. Officials in Ishikawa Prefecture confirmed four fatalities early Tuesday, according to the Kyoto News Agency. In Wajima City, close to the epicenter, people were reported to have been buried beneath the rubble of houses that collapsed. A large fire in the city engulfed a row of houses, with people being evacuated in the dark. Local hospitals reported several injured people arriving for treatment, though damaged roads were hampering the transport of patients. The Japan Meteorological Agency, JMA, said dozens of quakes of at least magnitude 3.5 hit the region between 4 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. The JMA initially issued a major tsunami warning for Ishikawa and lower-level tsunami warnings or advisories for the rest of Honshu, as well as the northernmost of Japan's main islands, Hokkaido. The warning was downgraded to a regular tsunami several hours later, meaning the waters could still reach up to three meters. The U.S. Pacific Tsunami Warning Center, which had warned of possible tsunamis along 190 miles of coast, said about four hours after the 7.6 magnitude quake that the tsunami danger had largely passed. A U.S. geological survey map shows the location of the earthquake in Ishikawa Prefecture, western central Japan. Footage broadcast by NHK appeared to show buildings collapsing in Ishikawa. More than 36,000 households lost power in Ishikawa and Toyama prefectures, according to the utility provider Hokuriku Electric Power. High-speed rail services to Ishikawa have been suspended, while the telecom operators SoftBank and KDDI reported phone and internet service disruptions in Ishikawa and Niigata prefectures, according to their websites. The Japanese airline ANA turned back planes headed to airports in Toyama and Ishikawa, while Japan Airlines canceled most of its services to the Niigata and Ishikawa regions. Authorities said one of Ishikawa's airports was closed. Japan has strict construction regulations intended to ensure buildings can withstand strong earthquakes and routinely holds emergency drills to prepare for a major jolt. Earthquakes that strike off the Sea of Japan coast are known to cause tsunamis that can reach the shore in less than 10 minutes, faster than those on the Pacific coast. The magnitude 9 quake of 2011 triggered a tsunami that took approximately 30 minutes before it hit the coastline. Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority said no irregularities had been reported at nuclear power plants along the Sea of Japan including five active reactors at Kansai Electric Power's Ohai and Takahama plants in Fukui Prefecture. There are 22 reactors at six facilities spread across the affected coastline. Hokuriku's Shika plant in Ishikawa, which was the closest to the quake's location, had already halted its two reactors for a regular inspection before the quake and experienced no impact from it. The earthquake struck as Japan was marking New Year's Day, a public holiday when many were at home and most establishments were closed. At least 57 people were killed, all of them in Ishikawa. There were 24 deaths in Wajima, 22 in Suzu, 5 in Nanao, 2 each in Noto and Anamizu, and 1 each in Hakui and Shika. 159 people were also injured across seven prefectures. At least 22 people from Ishikawa had serious injuries. By January 2nd, about 27,700 people in Ishikawa were sheltering in 336 evacuation centers. In Wajima, at least 60 houses collapsed and 10 people were trapped. 
A fire occurred in the city around 17 o'clock. Due to damaged roads, firefighters were unable to extinguish the flames, which consumed an estimated 200 buildings, including many homes. More than 30 people were injured in the city. Injuries were also reported in Suzu, where up to 5,000 houses and 90% of the buildings were destroyed, including many due to fires. The mayor of Suzu said about 4,000 to 5,000 households of the city's 6,000 were unable to return home, adding that the damage was catastrophic. Homes in Shiromaru, Noto, were destroyed by fire, and the tsunami washed debris onto the streets. Operations at the Noto airport were suspended after five cracks as long as 10 meter appeared on the runway. The terminal of the airport also sustained damage. Access roads leading to the airport were blocked, while about 500 passengers were left stranded inside the facility, which was expected to be closed until January 4th. Access to the northern part of the Noto Peninsula was limited by a damaged road. Noto Island was isolated after the bridge linking it to Nanao in Honshu was closed. The Earthquake's Long-Lasting Effect on Japan Japan is divided into 47 prefectures, which are types of administrative divisions. Earthquakes measuring between 7.0 and 7.9 are considered major and can cause serious damage. The largest earthquake ever recorded was magnitude 9.6 in Chile in 1960. The earthquake generated ocean waves about 1.2 meter high along Japan's west coast and on the coast of neighboring South Korea. The tremor was also felt in Japan's capital, Tokyo, 300 kilometer, 186 miles away on the other side of the country. Across nine prefectures, almost 100,000 people were evacuated and spent the night in sports halls and school gymnasiums, commonly used as evacuation centers in emergencies in Japan. These are often built with an accompanying disaster storehouse which contains food supplies and other essentials to support living for some time. The Japan Meteorological Agency, JMA, issued low-level tsunami warnings for the prefectures of Niigata and Toyama and a major tsunami warning for Ishikawa that was lifted on Tuesday morning. Within two hours of the major earthquake near the Noto Peninsula, the Japanese public broadcaster, NHK-TV, had urged people to flee to higher ground or to get to the top of nearby buildings as quickly as possible. It was feared that floodwaters could reach as high as 5 meters, 16.4 feet, in the event of a tsunami. A tsunami wave around 1.2 meters has hit Wajima City in Ishikawa, 10 minutes after the magnitude 7.6 quake occurred, while a fire sparked by the collapse of buildings engulfed houses in the area. Residents were forced to evacuate in the dark because of power outages. People were seen carrying belongings such as blankets, while others rushed out holding babies. On Tuesday, JMA reported that the country had been hit by 155 earthquakes since the initial tremor on Monday. Ishikawa's Proneness to Earthquakes Japan is one of the countries in the world most at risk from earthquakes. Seismic activity has been simmering in the area for some time. Between December 2020 and last month, 506 quakes with an intensity of at least 1.0 were recorded. Experts say they will not know why this major series of earthquakes was not anticipated until further research has been carried out. Japan experienced a devastating quake in 2011 with a death toll of nearly 20,000 people, with most killed by tsunami waves and also caused nuclear plant meltdowns in Fukushima. The disaster is believed to have caused $220 billion worth of damage. Ishikawa, a popular tourist destination famous for its cultural heritage sites, lies near the tectonic plate boundary between the Earth's Eurasian and North American plates. Such areas are particularly susceptible to earthquakes because of the movement of the plates against each other and the stronger shock this causes in nearby areas. Monday's earthquake is the strongest to have occurred in Ishikawa since 1885, when data first became available. Monday also marks the country's first major tsunami warning since March 2011, when a magnitude 9.0 earthquake in the Tohoku region 
killed more than 18,000 people and triggered nuclear plant meltdowns in Fukushima. Damages caused. The Japanese authorities are still assessing the extent of the damage, but the quake has so far resulted in several deaths, collapsed buildings, fires in Wajima, and power outages across Ishikawa. Almost 33,000 households remained without power in Ishikawa Prefecture early on Tuesday morning in Japan, according to information on Hokuriku Electric Power's website. Broadcaster NHK said most areas in the northern Noto Peninsula were also without water. Several highways near the epicenter were closed while flights and bullet train services to the area had also been suspended. In Suzu, a coastal town of just over 5,000 households near the quake's epicenter, there may have been as many as 1,000 houses destroyed, according to its mayor, Masahiro Izumiya. At least 30 people have been killed in Ishikawa, and rescue teams are still trying to reach areas where people are feared to have been trapped under collapsed buildings. At least 14 people have been critically injured. In Suzu, homes were washed off their foundations, and some were driven further inland. The earthquake and tsunami damaged or destroyed 90% of the town's buildings. The tsunami capsized many fishing vessels and carried some onto land. Building collapses and overturned cars were observed from a news helicopter flyover of the city. In Shika, a series of tsunami waves reached the port at 1740. In the Joetsu area of Niigata, the tsunami damaged buildings. Beach houses and other buildings were swept away by the waves. Nuclear plants. The quake also comes at a sensitive time for Japan's nuclear industry, which has faced fierce opposition since a 2011 earthquake and tsunami triggered nuclear meltdowns in Fukushima on the eastern coast. Whole towns were devastated, and nearly 20,000 people were killed. Japan last week lifted an operational ban imposed on the world's biggest nuclear plant, Kashiwazaki Kariwa, which has been offline since the 2011 tsunami. The Nuclear Regulation Authority said no irregularities were found at nuclear plants along the Sea of Japan, including five active reactors at Kansai Electric Power's Ohai and Takahama plants in Fukui Prefecture. Okuraku Electric's Shika plant, the closest to the epicenter, has also been idle since 2011. The company said there had been power outages and oil leaks following Monday's jolt, but no radiation leakage. The company had previously said it hoped to restart the reactor in 2026. Neighboring counties. Russia, North and South Korea, and the neighboring island of Sakhalin have also issued tsunami warnings. Russia issued tsunami warnings for its far eastern cities, Vladivostok and Nakhodka. Local authorities in Vladivostok ordered fishermen to urgently get back to shore. A tsunami wave measured at 85 centimeters at its highest point was observed off the port of Muko in the eastern coastal city of Donghai on Monday night, the country's meteorological agency said. Authorities in Gangwon and Samcheok City warned residents to evacuate to higher ground. North Korea issued warnings of tsunami waves of up to 2.08 meters for its east coast. Additionally, an emergency services alert on Sakhalin Island near Japan said its western coast may be affected by tsunami waves. JMA has warned that further quakes with a seismic intensity of 7.0 could hit the region over the next week, particularly in the next two to three days. There is a heightened risk of fires and landslides, the JMA said. Officials warned residents of some areas to stay away from their homes because of the potential danger. The warning of a major tsunami for Ishikawa, however, was cut to an advisory-only alert and eventually lifted on Tuesday morning. A tsunami advisory indicates that significant flooding is not expected, but local officials may take some action, such as closing beaches or evacuating harbors. The aftermath of these events was catastrophic and cold, but one thing that can keep you warm is our Atlantis pullover hoodie. A premium hoodie with a large front pouch pocket is available for the New Year sales. You don't want to miss out. You can grab one of our latest merch to keep you warm during these tragic moments by clicking on the link in the description. 
Thank you for watching. Let us know your thoughts on this topic in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you there.